Turn that on. Shabbat Shalom. So wonderful to see all of you as we join together in worship this lovely Shabbat evening. I hope all of you, bra- we thank you all for braving the snow. Hope you're all able to drive safely as we join together in worship and in song. A few things to mention before we begin. First of all, as a reminder with regards to our regular safety briefing, make sure to know your exits. The exits may be behind you or next to you. Fire extinguishers are located in the back of the sanctuary in the mezzanine. As always, have a plan. Uh, The defibrillator is located in the Temple Israel main office. In case of severe weather, which we are not scheduled to have this evening, shelter spots are located downstairs and in the main hallway. First aid kits are in the AV room in the main office in the kitchen. As always, if you see something, say something. In the case of an emergency, feel free to call 911, but please do keep your cell phones on silent so as not to interrupt the sanctity of our worship service. And as always, make sure your seat backs and tray tables are in their full upright lock positions. And if mass should drop from the ceiling, we have other problems. <laughs> and we are delighted to welcome our soloist, John Leo, fill- filling in for Cantor this evening, who's enjoying a well deserved mini vacation. Take it away, John. So this, this, uh, Hine Matov, can you hear me? Are you on? You're on. I don't hear. Am I being, is that better? Okay. So this Hine Matov is, uh, you may have, may have heard me do this before. It's, uh, composed by uh, Ramon Tassat, who is a Sephardic, Jewish cantor and and composer. Hine matov umanaim shevet achim gam yachad. Hine matov umanaim shevet achim gam yachad. Hine matov umanaim shevet achim. Gam yachad, hine matov umanayim, shevet achim, gam yachad, hine matov umanayim, shevet achim, gam yachad, hine matov umanayim, shevet achim, gam yachad, hine matov Umanaim shevet achim gam yachad. Hine matov. Umanaim shevet achim gam yachad. Hine matov. Umanaim shevet achim gam yachad. Hine matov. Umanaim. We'd like to invite Maddie and Logan to light our Shabbat candles as we bring in the warmth and light of Shabbat together. And as we have welcomed in Shabbat, we now take a few moments to welcome in each other. We invite you to look around and greet someone, maybe someone you haven't seen in a while, or someone you have not yet met, and introduce yourself and wish them a Shabbat Shalom, a Shabbat of peace. And as we breathe in the wonderful essence of Shabbat, 
and feel the peace embrace our souls. We also breathe out, as Rabbi Berezin likes to mention, all the schmutz of the week and let go of all that has held us down. We let go of all that has kept us from seeing our potential, let go of all the anger and frustrations and disappointments and instead we breathe in all the joy and all the happiness and all the opportunities to be in community, to be in prayer, to be in conversation and to be at peace as we worship together, we sing together and we elevate our souls together in this time of Shabbat. You're up. Lecha lecha dodi, likrat likrat kala, bene bene shabbat nekabela. Lecha lecha dodi, likrat likrat kala, bene bene shabbat nekabela. La 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 lecha dodi, likrat likrat kala, bene bene shabbat nekabela. Lecha lecha dodi, likrat likrat kala. Pene pene Shabbat nekabela. Shamor bezachor bedibur echad. Ishmiyanu el hameyuchad. Adonai echad ushemo echad. Leshenul tiferet beliti la 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 la. Lechad yodi nikrat nikrat kala. Pene pene Shabbat nekabela. Lecha lecha dodi likrat likrat kala Pene pene shabbat nekabela Likrat shabbat lechu venelcha Ki hi mekor haberacha Merosh mi kedem nesucha Sotna ase bemachshava khila la 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 Lecha dodi likrat likrat kala Pene pene Shabbat nekabela Lecha lecha dodi likrat likrat kala Pene pene Shabbat nekabela Itoreri, itoreri Ki va orech umi ori Uri, uri, shihir daveri Kevon Adonai alaich nigla la 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 Lecha dodi likrat likrat kala Pene pene Shabbat nekabela Lecha lecha dodi likrat likrat kala Pene pene Shabbat nekabela Oi ve shalom ateret pahala Gam be simcha Uvetsohola, tochemune ham segula. Boi kala, boi kala. Lecha lecha dodi, nikrat nikrat kala. Pene pene shabbat nekabela. Lecha lecha dodi, nikrat nikrat kala. Pene pene Shabbat nekabela la 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 lecha dodi nikrat nikrat kala. Pene pene Shabbat nekabela lecha lecha dodi nikrat nikrat kala. Pene pene Shabbat nekabela. And as we say in the old country, y'all may be seated. And so we understand that ordinary people are messengers of the Most High. They go about their tasks in holy anonymity, even unknown to themselves. Yet if they had not been there, if they had not said what they said or did what they did, it would not be the way it is now. We would not be the way that we are now. Never forget that you too yourself may be a messenger, perhaps even one whose errand extends over several lifetimes. And we sing together of the Shabbat messengers in Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharit, Malachi.
choose to rise in body and or in spirit for the bar of fool. Please join me if you wish. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher bidvaro ma'ari varavim, v'chokma poteach she'arim, u'vipuna mishane itim, u'machalit et azmanim, u'misader et ha'kochavim, v'mishmerotehem baraki ha'kirtsono, forei yom v'layla, toleil or mikne choshech, the Hoshech Mipne Or, who Mahavir Yomu may be Lila, who Mahavil Ben Yomu Vain Lila, Adonai Tivaot Shemo, El Chai Vikayam, Tamid in Loka Lenu Leolamba Ed, Barrochata Adonai, Amaari Aravim. I aspire to an eloquent seeing of all earth's seasons, inspired touching of flesh, flower, and stone, true hearing of others journey, self, and terrain, the difficult dignity of individual thought, an inner burning of commandment, a sometimes certainty of divine presence, weaving of sorrow into becoming, upwelling of seated but surprising joy, into this life courageously toward the unknown purpose. We continue with the words of the Shema. If it is your custom, we invite you to remain seated or to rise at this time. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Be seated. 
ואהבת את אדוני אלוהיך בכל לבבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מאודיך והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצבך היום על לבביך ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת בם בשבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשוכפך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידיך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובישריך למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי והייתם קדושים אלוהיכם אני אדוני אלוהיכם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם אלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם אדוני אלוהיכם אמת Please join me if you wish. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands, marching together. Me. invites God's presence to suffuse our spirits, God's will to prevail in our lives. Prayer may not bring water to parched fields, nor mend a broken bridge, nor rebuild a ruined city, but prayer can water an arid soul, mend a broken heart, rebuild a weakened will.
We continue now with the central section of our worship service, the Amida. We invite all those who so choose to rise in body and or in spirit as we face the ark together. Adonai, sefatai tifach upia gita hilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohei avoteinu veimoteinu, Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor Behanura. El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Bekonehe Hakol, Bezoher Chasehe Avot Veimahot, Umevi Geula Livne Benehem, Leman Shemo Beahava, Mele Jose Rumoshia Umagain, Baruchata Adonai, Magain Abraham, Beisrat Sara. Atta gibor le olam Adonai, mechaye makimata rab le hoshiha, mashiv haruach umorid haga Hashem, mechalkel chayim bechesed, mechaye mechim berachamim rabim, so mech noflim berofe cholim, umatir asurim, Umekayem emunato lishenei apar Michamocha bal yevurot umido mehela Melech meimit umekaye umatniach yeshua Beneman atalecha yotakmo Baruch atah Adonai
This time in our worship service, our thoughts turn to our friends, family, loved ones, those in our lives, our congregational family, our world, all those who are ill and ailing. On this Shabbat, we think of Susan Alexander, Hal Arnold, Virginia Becker, Jean Brusco, Lisa Brunkhorst, Karma Bustios, John Cardenas, Kyle Chattleton, Sandy Christofferson, Sandra Corsetti, Armand Davis, Izzy Dodge, Scott Farkas, Chet Hartgudson, Nina horvath Ludi, Ronald Kaplan, Samuel Kankel, Karen Levin, Bailey Linthicum, Emily Linthicum, Eli Lopez, Diane Feinberg McIntyre, Brandy Matson, Melissa Nielsen, Todd Newland, Rachel Namark, Mimi Rogers, Gloria Romero Downing, Holly Rosenberg, George Sachs, Steve Seglin, Linda Sharp, Rabbi Robert Sharp, Dee Dee Spiegel, Raylene Savoda, Chrissy Swenson, Laura J. West, Brent Wine, Lois Wine, Abram Wisnia. And we invite you, if you so choose, to mention the names of your loved ones whom we should think of at this time. And in our, from our friends in our virtual world, we think of Beth Feinberg, <coughs> Jane Korn, and Ben Nemani. May the God of our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Beck, and Rachel, bless all those who are ill and ailing with the refuah shlema, a complete recovery of mind, a body, of spirit. And for those unable to make a full recovery, may God continue to be a source of peace and comfort in their lives. May God grant strength to those who are dealing with the challenges mental illness and or addiction, provide healing to all those who are ailing. May God grant strength to those who love them, especially their caregivers, wisdom and protection to those who care for them, and strength to all of us who love them. And together as one loving family, let us say, Amen. 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 <clears throat> In times of war and terror, it is the innocent who suffer the most. As the saying goes, war is not hell, because in hell there are no innocent. Rabbono Shalom, God, we pray for all those who are suffering. May the leaders of the myriad of communities recognize the humanity, not just of the other, but also of their own. We pray for a resolution to this conflict. May all the descendants of Abraham, the children of Isaac, and Ishmael, come to see the humanity in each other, 
for on that day, on that day, peace can dwell upon the land and her inhabitants. Until that day, we pray for all who are suffering. We ask you, God, to bring comfort to them and to all those who are bereaved. Together we say, Amen. 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 Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shabbat, Shabbat shalom. shalom. Can everybody hear me okay? Yeah, okay. All right. So on your way in, you picked up a handout. And for those who are joining us on Zoom, Dory is about to share a link to the place where you can find it. Thank you to Dory. So I want to first recognize that I know this handout is from PJ Library. I know that PJ Library is, in fact, generally aimed at children. No, I am not calling you all children. Yes, it is still a good handout. So I wanted to share it with you because it's a great handout that illustrates Maimonides, or Rambam's, Ladder of Sadaka. We reference this Ladder of Sadaka lots of different times, and you may be familiar with it, or it might be new. But what he goes through as a teacher, he was a Middle East, uh, not Middle Eastern, medieval commentator um, who was in the Sephardic um, realm, and he provided lots of commentaries about a great many things in Jewish life, and he usually has something to say about almost anything. Um, but we use his teaching about his ladder of Sadaka a lot. So Sadaka is what we call, it's a generalized word for giving back, but what we normally do in, in the world that we live in, a lot of times when we talk about sadaka, we think of a few things. We think about money sometimes, financial giving, but we also do think about time and other kinds of gifts we bring. But normally, we use it in a way that makes us think that it is optional, that it is the same as charity. I do want to make the distinction that in our um, realm, in the Jewish tradition, Sadaka is actually something that we are commanded to do because it comes from the same root as the word justice. So we are actually commanded to do this because it is considered a form of justice in the world that, in the world that we live. So I want to look at this ladder, and the reason I did it from PJ Library is because there's in fact a ladder on here to illustrate the ladder of giving. And on the lowest rung, you see the different ways. Now, these are all ways that you can do sadaka. The difference is how you do it, and that's the key piece. So if you look at the lowest rung, the eighth level of giving, you give a little bit, and you give it grumpily, or you give it not cheerfully, or as some texts say, begrudgingly, right? You're not excited to do it, but you do it, and you do it only after you're asked, and you're not happy about doing it, and you make that unhappiness known, right? We all have had that experience where you do something you don't want to do, and sometimes we're better at hovering it up than others, right? I am sure all of us have been known at some point or another to be a little grumpy about doing something we may not be happy to do. So this is kind of the lowest ladder of giving. It works its way up. Then you give, the next ways would be if you do give, but you are cheerful about it, you're nice about it, right? That makes it a little bit higher on this rung of giving. The next is that you give when you're asked, right? Somebody asks you to give, they say they're in need, and you give what you can. The next would be to give before you're even asked, right? That you are aware enough, that you know enough about what is happening in your community, that you are able to give and notice what needs to happen before you're even asked to make a gift. After that, it goes into levels of anonymity. Right? And that's kind of a key difference here. So the fourth rung, the next highest, is that you give when the receiver doesn't know who gives the gift, but you know who got the gift, right? So the receiver believes that an anonymous donor has given them a gift, and you do remain anonymous, but you know who you're giving to. The one above that is when neither you, when you, get, when you don't know who the money go, goes to, but the receiver knows who gave it, right? So kind of the inverse. Above that is when it's total anonymity, right? Where neither you, the gift giver, nor the recipient know who each other are. That you are doing this in potentially a community fund or a community foundation, and, you guys, and two people have no idea who is giving and who is receiving. Now the highest level is helping create self-sufficiency, right? 
It is entering into a business partnership, giving a loan, or helping somebody to get a job, okay? So that is the differences and levels. So say loudly, I will repeat it for the, for the Zoom congregation. What are a couple of things you notice about the distinctions here? What are important notes here? Anonymous giving is elevated higher in the rungs than giving with recognition, right? And that might, Lee added, be more meaningful in some capacity. Natasha? She took your answer, okay. So, anonymous giving, yes. Excellent. Being able to know and discern what somebody might need before they even ask for it, right? Those are important things. So having a little understanding of your community and what they need and allowing yourself to do it in a way that maybe does or does not garner recognition, that changes where you are on this level of giving. And so, and also giving willingly versus unwillingly are key components here, right? When you give and you're grumpy about it, it's a little bit different on this ladder of giving than if you give anonymously and willingly, for example. And so if you look at that, Ramban's main concerns are kind of twofold. He thinks that there are two concerns that we should be looking at here. One is dependency, right? The highest level of giving is to allow for self-determination and autonomy and independence, right? And also this notion of shame in many ways, right? There should be no shame around giving, and anonymity in some ways helps to get rid of the shame around who's giving and who's receiving so that you can take what you need and get what you need without a, a shamefulness associated with it. And oftentimes I think those two things, the idea of having financial independence and having a level of shame associated with not having that are something that speaks in many, in many ways to a lot of us. And it is very, I would say, resonant with us as Americans in particular. But I also wonder if it's actually the right way that we should be looking at giving. Now Maimonides knows a lot of things about a lot of different subjects and he's often right and I often agree with him. However, I wonder if, inter if independence should be the thing that we are ultimately striving for and the idea that needing each other and bolstering each other and giving what each of us is capable of is in fact negative, right? Is it actually shameful or should it be shameful to ask for what you need and to allow others to supplement what you have and with what they have, right? Is community need, leaning on each other something that we should be looking at in the way that Maimonides frames it? And so I wonder if the idea that this negativity is something we should be aiming against, right, that we should be looking in a different capacity, allows us to maybe look at gifts and giving and community dependence diff differently. And that is what our Torah portion this week, Parshat Truma, which is in chapter 25 of Exodus, really talks about. It talks about giving gifts. So I want to share with you the first few lines of Exodus. It says that Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Tell the Israelite people to bring me gifts. You shall accept gifts from me from every person whose heart is so moved. And these are the gifts that you will accept from them. Gold, silver, copper, blue, porpoise, crimson yarns, fine linen, goat's hair, tanned ram skins, dolphin skins, acacia wood, oil for lighting, spices for anointing oil and the aromatic incense, lapis lazuli and other stones for setting, for the ephod and the breast piece, and use them to make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. So if you look at that way of giving, it presents a very different understanding of what it means to build community than what Maimonides shares, I think. It talks about a few things. First, that gifts are not all the same, that everybody might bring something different. And they may not all be in the same category even, right? I may have goat hair, I don't know why I would, but maybe I do. Sandy may have a lapis lazuli stone. Somebody else may have a dolphin skin. We all bring what we need, 
And they're not differentiated in terms of what is more valuable, right? We all have what we have, and we bring what we bring, and together we create this tabernacle for God. The other thing it talks about is that we give gifts when our hearts are moved to do so. And those things together allow for the divine to dwell among us, right? For God to have a place to dwell among us. And so there are different ways of looking at how we give and how we receive in community. And so I want to share with you um, a perspective from Rabbi Mackenzie Zev Reynolds. And she suggests that what Teruma talks about, that the framework of this Torah portion might prompt us to construct a new framework for giving and sharing resources. The heart-incited offerings that we give freely enable our community to cohere and to sustain itself. In our world where we function separately from the specific requirements of the temple system, we can be expansive in thinking about what our communities need to cohere and sustain themselves. Instead, we might ask, what are my community's needs? How might we be able to meet those needs? What might I be able to give? We might not start with what an individual wants to give, but with what is needed, and move from there to strategize how to meet those needs, including thinking about how each individual might contribute to the needs of the community through their own resources and gifts. So what she's suggesting is there are many ways to build and sustain and create cohesive community. On the one hand, we have different levels of giving and meeting needs that Maimonides suggests. And in our Torah portion this week, we have something different because each of us have skills and passions and time and resources to share. And if we think about what each of us can bring to the table, we have more than what we need available to create this cohesive community. Rabbi Denise Egger teaches that a teruma, a gift, is an offering that comes in the, from the deepest recesses of the heart. Then and now, it's a privilege to be involved in the sacred work of building community and creating a dwelling place for the divine. And so with all of that together, what I feel like we can understand, what I believe it teaches us, is that if each of us comes with our own trumot, our own gifts, to share with others, to build community, and when we do it in a way that our hearts are moved to give those gifts and that we give them a free will offering, we in turn receive immeasurable gifts from our community right back to us. And it allows us to welcome God, welcome to whatever we consider divine in our lives, to dwell among us and be part of our lives. Because we always receive far more than we give if only we can open our hearts to becoming partners in the ever-unfolding act of creating community. Shabbat Shalom. I invite everyone to please rise if they are comfortable and able to do so as we join for Alenu together. We take a moment to remember those in our lives who are no longer with us physically, but in whose spirit we constantly find ourselves as we hold them in our hearts. If, you, if I say the name of a loved one, I invite you to please rise 
and remain standing if you choose to do so. We are in Shloshim, the first 30 days of mourning for Florine Bernstein, Sander Sandy Bernstein, Bernard Jerome Turkle, and Doris Parker. We recall the art sites of Martin Alexander, Ruth F. Altsuler, David Edward Bieber, Rachel F. Bleicher, Bernard Bogdanoff, Max Birkenrode, Matthew Burrell, Benjamin Capen, Ali A. Dan, Lester J. Doucette, Adele Walensky Ellen Bogan, Virginia Farber, Rose Fellman, Hogue Frady, Jack Fraser, Minnie B. Frey, Elmer Greenberg, Ben Himmelbloom, William Joseph, Saji Ann Kaplan, Suzanne I. Kaplan, Toba Krasny, Harry Z. Cubby, Edda Yetta Kuklin, Samuel Joel Leon, Gerald Marburg, Zali Mehrer, Jewel M. Newman, Sarah Ostrovich, Sarah Lynn Judd Pinson, Ruth E. Rice, Norman J. Rips, John Robinson, Arnold Robinson, Jacob Rosenfeld, Nathan Rosenthal, Augusta E. Rothholtz, Bernard Schimmel, Lois Jean Schrager, Bruce Allen Simon, Ruben Smirin, Anne Ferrer Sostren, Lillian B. Stern Schrager, Martin Lewis, Marty Warren, and Cora B. Wertheimer. If you're remembering someone whose name I have not mentioned or you'd like to offer a correction, I invite you to share their names with our community, either aloud or on our chat. We also remember Minnie Cattleman and Faye Seeker. We join together in the words of Mourners Kaddish as one community. If you are comfortable and able to do so, I invite you to please rise. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, Bechayim Aleinu Ba'alko Yisrael, Bimru Amin. Ose Shalom Bimru Mal, Huya Ose Shalom, Aleinu Ba'alko Yisrael, Ba'alko Yoshvei Tevel, Bimru Amin. Zichron Amli Bracha, may their memories always be for a blessing, we say together. Amen. You may be seated. A few things to mention as we wrap up our service this evening. First of all, thank you to all of you for joining us. It wouldn't be the same without you. Thank you as well to John Leo for leading us in beautiful worship and in song. Thank you to the back of the house with Scott and Ed for tech. Thank you to Eli, especially for running. And thank you for helping us navigate some of the sound issues. Hospitality, thank you to Toby's team. Uh, thank you to OB, OPD for security, and as always, thank you to our Zoom maven, Dory Bernstein. Thank you to our members, patrons, and sponsors. We invite any members of our board to please rise at this time. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can address it to them. Thank you to Rabbi Berezin for her gift of a sermon tonight, reminding us that our gifts are what truly make the holy sacred community that we are. This coming week, we've been talking about it for a long time and it's finally here. Spirit of Galilee will be joining us February 21st through 25th. We have several events happening that feature Rabbi Or Zohar, Gadir Hani, and Father Saba Haj as they work towards the advancement of pluralism, mutual, mutual understanding, and cooperation between various denominations, religions, and cultures in the, in the region. Arabs, Jews alike. 
Rabbi Or Zohar will join us for Shabbat evening service next Friday. We'll do a Q&A session following the Oneg. He will also be at Torah studying Shabbat morning service on February 24th. Saturday evening, Rabbi Zohar, Kadir Hani, and Father Saba Haj will be doing a panel discussion and musical performance at Tri-Faith on Shared Society in Israel. Please check our weekly emails for there are going to be a lot of events here and across the campus as well as the UNO campus for events that you are all welcome to. You can come to one or you can come to all of them or anything in between. Registration is now open for our Italian Congregational Shabbat dinner hosted by Dennis and Pam DePort, graciously sponsored by Keith and Judy Josephson. Cost will only be $5 a person with a max of $20 per family. Where else can you get an Italian dinner for $20 a family? Come celebrate Shabbat with us and enjoy Italian fare cooked by Golden Toke chef Leo Fascianella. And Purim is coming. I know it seems like it's a month away. Sorry, that's a Jewish calendar joke. The adult Purim party is March 23rd, and the Spiel and Carnival is March 24th. So we have lots of wonderful events. Thank you as well to Julie for accompanying us. Have I missed anything? I'm sure I have, but that's okay, because we're going to join together in Kiddush. Please rise. Baruch Atadonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Peri HaGafen. Baruch Atadonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav, Veratzavanu, Veshabat Kodsho, Veahava Uberatzon Hinchilanu, Zikaron lemahase bereishit, ki hu yom tefila lemikra e kodesh, zecher litzihiyat mihitrahim. Im banu vacharta, yotanu kitashta, mikol hamim, veshabat kodshecha, Ve'ahava u'veratzon inchaltanu. Baruch ata Adonai, mekadesh ha-shabbat. Amen. We continue with Motsi. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Amotzi Lechem Min HaAretz, Amen. Betei Avon, Shabbat Shalom. And please join us in our closing melody, Vosei Shalom. This is written by Elena Jagoda who is probably one of the most, one of the most wonderful uh, young Jewish cantors. Now, I think she's a cantor as opposed to just a cantorial soloist in California who writes songs for kids that will light up people of every age. Se shalom bim romav o se shalom Bim Romav, who ya asse, who ya asse, who ya asse shalom, who ya asse, who ya asse, who ya asse shalom, who ya asse, who ya asse, who ya asse shalom, Aleinu. May the one, may the one who makes peace bring peace down, bring peace down. May the one, may the one who makes peace bring peace down, bring peace down. May the one, may the one who makes peace bring peace down, bring peace down. May the one, may the one who makes peace bring peace down, bring peace down. O se shalom, bim romav. O se shalom, bim romav. 
הוא יעשה, הוא יעשה, הוא יעשה שלום, הוא יעשה שלום, הוא יעשה, הוא יעשה שלום. May the one, may the one who makes peace down, bring peace down. May the one who makes peace bring peace down, bring peace down. May the one, may the one who makes peace down, bring peace down. May the one, may the one who makes peace bring peace down, bring peace down. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Just in time, I didn't need it. <laughs> It's all good.